When you open up Illustrator for the first time, you're given what's called the Essentials Workspace. This provides for us, as we've seen here, a very basic tools panel and over on the right hand side of the screen, the properties panel. Now these are fairly versatile. They may well give you everything that you need or something close to it. So it gives you a nice workspace that's decluttered and you can focus on your artwork. But it may well be that you need other tools and other panels to be able to get on with your day to day editing. And that's where workspaces come in. You can actually switch to a different set of tools very quickly rather than as we've seen before by going to the window menu and clicking individually on the panels that you need to open them up. You can just switch your tools completely from one set to another. And they're usually based around a specific task. Now you can switch your workspace by going up to the menu up at the top right hand side, which is called switch workspace. When you click on that, you'll find there is a list of pre made tools and workspaces available to you. So if I want to do something like painting, I can hover over painting, left click, and it'll give me the tools that I need. I've got brushes, I've got swatches, I've got ways to apply color. Most of the things that I will need for that particular task. You'll notice that we have a second column of tools. So if I want to delve into these, I can left click on the icons and I get access to them very quickly rather than going to the window menu at the top of the screen. And again, I can click on any one of these to access their features. When I'm done, click on the buttons. If I actually need to explore them in more detail, I can go up to the top and I can expand them by clicking on the triangles. Utilize what I need from those. And when I'm done, go back up to the top and collapse them back to icons. If I need to use a different set of tools, again, back up to the workspace switcher menu, I can go to typography. And again, the panel switch around in here. And this time I've got a set of tools that relate to editing text. Again, I can click on the icons to pop out and I can delve into options in far greater detail than possibly available in the properties panel. And I can even expand those out as well. So I can focus on whichever panel it is that I need to. You might notice that in some scenarios you have three panels that are grouped together. This is called a tabbed workflow. So at the moment, the paragraph panel is visible on screen. The text is colored white. The options are visible, but either side of it is the character panel and the open type panel. Now their tab headings are in a slightly darker gray, but if I wish to see them, all you have to do is hover over the name of the tab and left click. And then all the options for that particular panel pop to the front and the paragraph panel pops behind in there. So again, that's a really good space saver. If I wish to go back to my original tools, you go back to the workspace switcher menu and you can choose essentials. And that's what we had when we first started. So it's a very handy way of being able to switch from a completely different set of tools to another without having the hassle of going to the window menu and doing that individually. In the next video, I'll show you how we can create our own workspace and have only the tools that we need and the panels that are relevant to our workflow.